I am grounded. On a chilling winter dawn, exactly 3 a.m., before the first rooster crows, I jumped from my sleep. Barefooted and wearing only machila aga abadimu, I commenced with my divination, dancing to the drums, stamping my foot hard on the ground, and loudly singing my mantra. Running around the rest of the day, barefooted was my new catwalk. I am grounded. I saw myself removing my hair, all my hair from my head. Being bald became my new hairdo. Red and white became my new and only color code. Machila Aga Abadimu became my new fashion style. And I didn't care a bit about my new look. I only wanted to do this. I am grounded. Humbling myself for full six months, where lying on the cold floor was the acceptable way to extend my greetings. And kneeling down on my knees was the only way to hold conversation. Sleeping only Mologogong Laga on the cold winter floor, I shut myself from the outside world while preparing to a new beginning and transformation into the spiritual world. I am grounded. Cutting sugar and milk from my diet, feeding only on Mororo and Mbogobe Bamabele, non-processed food and meat became my frenemies, and I could not stand to look them in the eyes. There I betrayed them. I am grounded. I climbed peak mountains to collect roots and leaves, preparing them into herbs to heal my brothers and sisters. I visited the forest to collect wood, then made a fire to put my three-legged pot on. Those were my new adventures. I am grounded. Finally, my D-Day arrived, putting a new Sangoma outfit, bits beautifying my neck and wrist, holding my spear and shovani. I danced to the drums and took my first walk into the icy river water. And there I graduated, emerged from the river with my divine bones on my hands, I became a sangoma, a healer, a diviner, and I'm still grounded to Goza.